Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on Chia. Today we finally have the official pools for Chia, so we're going to do a quick beginner's guide on how to set up pooling in Chia. All right, first we're going to go to the chia.net website, and the layout changed a little bit here before the links to download was up here. So now you just hit install. Um, you go to here for Windows, and then save it. And then once you save it, obviously install it. And once install it, run it. So the first thing for me was changing the look to the night look of the application. Um, next is if you don't have a wallet already, you want to create a new wallet. So you just hit this create a new wallet. And this is your 24 word key. Make sure you keep this safe. Make sure you uh, write it down. Uh, however you want to keep it safe. Then hit next. All right. And this process takes a little bit. And now you're in your wallet but um, I'm gonna switch to the one that I have already created because if you go here you need to have your wallet status synced for this whole thing to really work so I'm gonna go back to the original wallet I created and to join a pool you go to pool hit join a pool and what you need to join a pool is a mojo or a small amount of chia to join a pool. To get a small amount of chia, you could either ask your friend to send it to you or you could go to a faucet and request it. So you can hit add this. It will come up to official chia faucet. And the address you need is you go to wallet and you go to this receiving address. You hit this to copy the clipboard. Go back here. And you paste it and hit I am not a robot and submit. It says accept it. Your request is in queue and will be processed in order it was received. So uh, this should take just a few minutes and I'll let you know when, how long it took to receive this chia. All right, guys, and we're back. I received my uh, one mojo, which is one trillionth of a chia coin. That took about 20 minutes to get this, so it wasn't too long. All right, next you go to pooling. So you join the pool again. And now that you have a mojo, uh, you can join a pool. So you can either do self pool or you can connect to a pool. So we're going to use space pool as an example here. So go to space pool. This is the space pool website. I will also have a list of pools for you guys um, in the description below. But I'm using space pool as an example. So how do I join? You click this and they have these addresses here. You copied the one that's appropriate for your region. I'll do North America. And then I'll go back to the Chia app. Like this. So it's called space pool and validated for you here. All right, now it's going to wait for the transaction to confirm. Okay, that took about uh, two minutes or so. So now that you're pooling, it will give you this auto-generated pool name. I got the Apricot Barracuda. And the other thing you notice, if you put your mouse over this question mark, it will give you the auto-generated pool contract address. And this is what you need if you are creating plots in Mad Max or uh, Windows PowerShell. So let's go to plots and create a plot. Um, so obviously a 32K32 plot here. Um, and I would just leave this as default. This is pretty nice that they give you the option of farmer and pool key. So if you need to create plots that's for different pools, then you could use these options. But if you're just creating it for your current pool, then you just leave these blank. So this is your temporary folder. So this is mostly your plotting SSD. So you select your plotting SSD and this is your final address. This is where you want to keep your plots to farm. So you select that and uh, over here you select the pool that you want to make this for. So Abracad Barracuda and hit create. That's pretty much it. One thing I do want to point out is if you go to view log now, you can see that your farmer key is here as well and also your pool contract address is here as well. So that's pretty interesting. You could just copy and paste from here if you're trying to create plots in Mad Max or Windows PowerShell. So after you create your plots, how do you know that you're actually farming? 
you go to pool and then you should start seeing you should start seeing your points increase and your balance here once you start seeing these numbers go up then you that means you are uh pooling and farming correctly so that's pretty much it it seems like a pretty easy process thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one